G'day guys, Ryan the Dreaded Chef here, up at Coomba Dam. I am so, so, so excited to do this cook. I'm doing a whole leg of lamb on the Drifter Stockton tripod that's used for camp ovens, but I've just gone, nah, screw the camp oven. I'm hanging a whole leg of lamb on it. We're cooking it over fire. I've got my rub, I've got my sauce, I've got my thermometer from EC Therm, and I've got an awesome product that goes with that as well, which I'll show you later. But this is gonna be absolutely awesome. I seriously cannot wait. I've been dreaming of this like day is leading up to this. I, I'm so, so, so excited. So stick around and let's cook this together. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to coat this leg of lamb with a little bit of oil to act as a binder for our rub. So any old oil will be good. I've just got some olive oil here, nothing fancy, just real simple, simple stuff. And just give it a nice little drizzle over the top. Like so. And then we're just gonna rub all over the lamb. And this will just literally act as a glue for the rub that we're gonna put on. Like so. We'll do the other side as well. So we'll coat both sides with the rub, but for now we'll just do the top. So for the rub, you can use any single rub in the world that you feel will go well with lamb. I've got my lovely barbecue rub here that I've, I've made, and some of you have tasted up at the Drifter Fans event quite a few years ago. So I've got this here, and all I'm gonna do is just sprinkle it over, give it a nice even coat. If you've got a shaker, you, know, you can put your rubs in, that'll work even best but I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. Giving a nice little pat as we do that. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. The worst thing you can do is to rub. Never, never rub your rub on, even though it's called a rub. Pat it on, because when you rub it on, you're seriously just rubbing it onto your fingers and it's not actually going into the meat like you feel like you think it's going to. So yeah, just sprinkle it on and give it a good pat, because that'll actually push it in there. Making sure to get all of it, a nice, nice, even coat. Cool, like that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let that sit there for a minute, so it can soak in and all the juices and everything like that can permeate all through the meat and everything like that. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'll keep putting the rub on here to make sure it's all coated. And once it's all done, I'll show you what we need to do next. Alrighty guys, so we've got this leg of lamb completely rubbed up, ready to rock and roll. I've got an S hook in my tripod here. I've got the fire nice and ready. It's just a matter of just sticking the, the S hook between the tendon and the bone and letting it cook for a good three hours. And what we're gonna do is stick a thermometer in it very soon so we can see what's going on internally. But this is already looking good. I am seriously so excited to cook this and I just cannot wait to get into it. Alrighty, so we've got this leg of lamb sitting on this uh, Drifter Stockton camp oven tripod and I thought this is a great opportunity to use the EC Therms as well. Like you, you've seen me talk about these before and they're seriously a great product. So if you haven't got one already, one, I don't know why you haven't, and two, you really need to get one because these things take all the guesswork out of cooking, especially if you're doing something like this for the first time. So it's really simple. I'm just gonna stab this into the thickest part of the meat, like so. And then basically I'm gonna sync that up to my phone. And then I wanna go for a little bit of a walk around and, and see what's, what's up here at Coomba Loomba Dam. So I'm gonna use this new product from EC Therm as well. And this is called a range extender. 
It looks very suggestive. It's not what you think, trust me. And basically you can charge your pins in this and it runs either off USB or one AAA battery. And one AAA battery like lasts forever and you can like do umpteen million charges with these, with these pins. I haven't gone through a battery yet. So all I'm gonna do is like let it, let it go, let it boost to my phone so I can have a wander around and we'll check up on this land later. Alrighty guys, so it's been a few hours. The sun has definitely gone down, which means that this lamb is very, very close to being ready. So what we're gonna do is just apply some glaze that I've made earlier. Um, this is my strawberry glaze. I'll do a recipe video of this very soon because it seems to be quite popular with a few people that have been trying it. But all I'm gonna do now is just give it a good little brush on here. And we're just gonna tack up this glaze. And we're gonna apply this glaze you know, once once every 15 minutes. And we're probably gonna give like two coats. So it's about 30 minutes away. And we get to carve it up and smash it all in into our laughing gear. And we're gonna really, really enjoy it. But before I leave you to it real quick so I can keep keep basting, I just wanted to give a massive shout out to Mighty Nice Meats at Oval. They um, really, really looked after me with this leg of lamb, as well as the bratwurst and the other video that you'll see as well. Um, all the meat that I've got this weekend has been absolutely phenomenal quality and the flavour has been absolutely sensational. They really know what they're doing there. So if you're living in the Cairns area, definitely go to Bar Street Markets and see, see the guys at Mighty Nice Meats and they'll look after you. But for now, I'm going to keep getting my culinary artist on and painting this glaze. Alrighty guys, it has been a long time. I've been drooling for a long time as well. The lamb is finally done. It's all glazed up, it's rubbed up, it's been cooked over the fire. I, I really wanna pick this up and just eat it like a giant drumstick, but there's people behind the camera right now looking at me salivating. So I'll be nice, I'll be kind, and I'll share this. Speaking of being nice and kind, if you could be, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I absolutely love talking to you guys. But really, for now, I have to get into this and share it with everyone else before I become the meal. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon.